welcome to Medical Student Life in Japan, a podcast created by a teacher and a group of medical students at Nara Medical University. We are a small medical college in the Kansai region of Japan. This podcast has two great purposes. One is to share stories about being a medical student here in Japan. And also for our students to share fun ideas, opinions, and information about Japanese culture to people all over the world. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Thanks a for, lot listening. for listening. Okay, welcome back to Medical Student Life in Japan. Yay. Yay. And today we have two wonderful students, fifth year medical student Momoko. Hello, my name is Momoko. <laughs> and also fifth year medical student Satoshi. Hello, I'm Satoshi. Thank you for listening. And we are gathering today、uh, as we usually do.、Uh, today it's just the three of us. And we thought let's just have a normal everyday <laughs> chat, no specific topic.、Uh, As we sometimes do, but just have a nice、yeah. uh, chat and see where it goes.、Mm, yeah, that's also、okay. great. Great. Okay. So, Satoshi,、mm-hmm. take it away. <laughs> <laughs> so,、um, I, by the way, I feel a little bit you know, cold in this room. Ah, <laughs> yes. Okay. Because the AC is not turned on. That's right? right. That's right. So, we're in my office recording. This is, this is kind of our studio.、Mm-hmm. And,、um, I do have an air conditioner in my office, but I have it turned off because when it's cooler,、mm-hmm. uh, I can keep my concentration、mm-hmm. and focus. You know, when it gets really warm,、mm-hmm. especially、it's, in the afternoon. Yeah, <laughs> after very, lunch. Very sleepy. Start getting sleepy. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard to do any work. So、um, I personally like it、uh, a little cooler.、Uh-huh. And、um, I believe there are some good health benefits.、Oh, what what Rel- kind of health benefits? <laughs> <laughs>、um, related to the cold. So,、um, as humans, I, I believe we like something very comfortable,、mm-hmm. right? A warm room, a full belly from delicious food,、uh, uh, less stress. We want things to be easy.、Mm-hmm. But、um, over a long period of time, You know,、mm-hmm. especially a long time ago,、mm-hmm. there's always stress in our environment,、mm-hmm. and humans are designed to face stress and overcome stress.、Mm-hmm. And so, stress allows our body to strengthen and grow. For example,、mm-hmm. basically, when you do muscle training, you're stressing your muscles,、mm-hmm. you're breaking them down, and then you build them back up,、mm-hmm. right?、Yeah. Through、exactly. good nutrition, good, good sleep. And there's some research behind、uh, cold.、Mm-hmm. And so, for example,、um, when it's really cold, your body has to warm itself up to、mm-hmm. fight against, get against the cold. And that's a really good kind of stress on the body、um, to keep warm. I see. Yeah. And、um, on top of that, these days,、uh, because I'm interested in this topic,、uh, <laughs> there's a lot of athletes who use cold therapy to、mm-hmm. recover their body. And, yeah.、Uh, and, so if、mm. they have a muscle pain, they get the ice on that? Yeah. So that's kind of maybe part of it. But、uh-huh. um, yeah, for example, one thing they'll do is yeah, after、uh, maybe some possible light injury、mm-hmm. or yeah, muscle pain, you go into a cold bath, like an、oh, ice bath. Not only the.、Um, not just putting ice on、yeah. one spot, but yeah. A and whole this, body. Yeah, and you put your whole body, submerge it into this ice bath.、Mm-hmm. And the theory is this helps to recover. So, this stress、mm-hmm. forces the body to protect itself and strengthen itself. Now, there's a lot of maybe scientific、mm-hmm. concepts behind that.、Um, and then another example is、um, cryotherapy, which is you get into this like small chamber、mm-hmm. and it makes this unbelievably cold temperature、mm-hmm. and you put your body into it. Like、mm-hmm. well below freezing、oh. and for a short period of time.、Wow. And this will create some kind of stress, and you fight against that、oh. cold. And what happens is you get stronger, and it can help to recover your body.、Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe much like、uh, maybe you've heard of sauna.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. And sauna is like a, the other、uh, mm-hmm. side of that, the heat.、Oh, yeah. yeah. So, this extreme heat of a sauna also 
has some therapeutic effects, mm. they say. Um, yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So I had heard before, um, it's better to for things to be a little bit cold. Mm. Yeah, rather than oh, crank up the heater, <laughs> you know, your body can naturally get oh. used to that colder temperature. I see. Yeah. Yeah. And it can be uh, healthy. Plus, I'm less sleepy. Um, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's great. So, yeah. 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 I usually drink coffee so that I won't be, I won't feel sleepy after lunch. Yeah, yeah. that's another good one. But yeah, yeah. but your strategy will be a good idea, right? Don't yeah. turn on the AC oh. and stay like, yeah, cool. Very hard to be sleepy when it's cold, mm. um, right? And, yeah, and it, it it might also help the environment too. <laughs> it might help the environment, yeah, less <laughs> electricity, yeah. right? Yeah, so I can feel good about that as well. Mm. Um. Yeah, you can also do like a cold shower. Mm. Oh, cold shower. Okay. Yeah. But it must be really cold. It I, is cold. I, I've it's never, cold. I think. Um, never tried? Never tried yeah. the cold shower. Okay. Like, Let's... It sometimes happens that it accidentally. Accidentally. <laughs> like, yeah. Accident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that one. Uh, well, in the, so of course you can do the, the ice bath oh. is one way to try, but most people don't have uh um, enough ice yes. where <laughs> these days it's becoming very popular so mm-hmm. some people will buy a particular bath and then um, you can you can make it really cold a, block of, a huge block yeah, a big of block ice. of ice or uh there's some kind of system where it can drop the temperature of the water mm-hmm. really mm-hmm. quickly um but the simpler way is just to take a cold mm-hmm. shower mm-hmm. yeah and i've done that a few times and what happens is yes it's cold and yes it's uncomfortable and you have to kind of mentally prepare yourself Mm -hmm. and don't fight it but kind of accept it Mm -hmm. but when you when you get out of the shower now your body naturally warms up Mm -hmm. very quickly so it's cold and then you know you just kind of dry off the water Mm -hmm. and your body will actually get really warm Mm -hmm. so you can naturally get warm from taking Mm -hmm. the cold shower but you have to go through that Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like that kind of yeah. shock preparation, yeah. Yeah, 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 and it's never easy. Uh-huh. So I've done several times, but it's never like, oh, today I can easily uh-huh. take a cold shower. Sure. It's, it's never good. <laughs> yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Um, yeah. I'm kind of concerned about the like sun drop and sudden drop and yeah, the blood. Eh? Ah, the blood pressure. Yeah, the blood yes, pressure. Yes. Okay. I'm concerned about the blood pressure. So yeah, yeah, me too. Dropping and getting up yeah yeah that might be there might be something to that yeah, maybe so for elderly people you know the disadvantage mm-hmm. of cardiovascular you know injury or mm. you know damage will um maybe higher than the married maybe the advantage yeah so yeah. You, yeah you are only like 40 40 years old or something yeah yeah so i think yeah. that's <laughs> fine I that's think. Fine. Oh. Yeah. For, for us i think no problem uh, right? yeah, yeah 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 um now I do see, you know, sometimes you go to in Japan, you have these uh, bathhouse, um, yeah, called Sento, Sento or Super Sento, yeah, yeah, and they'll have a hot bath, and they often have a cold bath, cold yeah, bath. Yeah. yeah, and I love doing that. Ah, oh. so you go into the hot bath mm-hmm. and then go into the cold bath, oh. and I, you just feel so alive, and I feel like this recovery oh. feeling, yep. and I often see older men. <laughs> exactly. Also doing it. Yeah. And I, I thought the same thing as what you're saying, Momoko, is in, in his 70s or 80s. Yeah. And I think that's enjoying, amazing. Right? Yeah, it's great. But then I also wondered, is there any possible risk mm-hmm. to do this hot, cold for because they, they do say sometimes in yeah. Japan it's very some elderly critical. people are dying in the bath, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And is that because of the heat shock? It is often cold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And can you explain that? Um, yeah, so when you, you know, during, uh, sorry, when you take a bath, right. we have to take off our clothes, right? Right. So, um, so when it's cold, our mm. blood, our blood pressure goes up. Right. And when we, um, get into the bath, yeah, it's very hot. Mm. So, you know, our body, temp- uh, the body pressure suddenly drops mm. and it, and the body, so, uh, sorry, the, the decline of body pressure is called shock yes. in the medical field. Oh, I see. So it's called heat shock. Oh, okay. And the sudden shock causes, you know, um, uh, loss of consciousness. Mm. Right? And so I hear some of the um, elderly people mm. died of heat yeah, shock. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that too. 
or or you hear like uh in extreme weather too right um like yeah. in the summertime mm -hmm. or in the winter time no uh, often elderly people are affected um yeah most severely like when you hear like uh there's a big drought in europe or something um, and a kind of heat, heat, heat wave, wave and then suddenly lots of elderly people are mm. dying yeah. um, anywhere in the world but um also, so you think it's related to that? Maybe. Sudden, yeah, um, I guess. Uh, so that's a good question. So <laughs> I guess if we get into the debate of is is it good or bad? Uh -huh. And and then maybe it depends on the age. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I want to research that more. <laughs> but maybe even for those older people, it's still good. Mm -hmm. But maybe it shouldn't be suddenly. Uh -huh. So you should work your way. Like anything, like, you know, if you have someone who's completely out of shape and who never exercises and they suddenly have to <laughs> run like a race, yeah. it's going to be a very traumatic, traumatic event and they might suffer, yeah. uh, become very sick or Absolutely. heart attack or something. So maybe there's something to kind of baby steps mm. to that. I don't, I don't know. But it's a good question, Mo, but I have to research more, but <laughs> I think there's a lot of gradually it. get used to the changes. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, like, um, sauna is mm. like kind of very popular in Japan among young, young age. Yeah. I yeah. Think. yeah. yeah. I also like it. Really? Yeah. 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 Um, How often do you go? Um, actually, I really go to Sento, oh. you know, mm. uh, a bathhouse. Yeah. But when I go to a hot spring or mm. a bathhouse, I, yeah, often try sauna. Yeah. and then cold bath yeah and then have some rest um, yeah yeah and this circulation is often said good for health really yeah so like for example about 10 minutes in the sauna yeah and then one minute in the cold bath mm. and after that it's Just... super comfortable yes yeah i oh. love that feeling oh, really? after the cold bath Oh, and then and then going out, and then there's a bit wind coming, <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, yeah, I feel great. Yeah, um, oh. I don't. It's hard to you know express. It really is hard to express. Right? It is, but it feels right. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like Absolutely. this is good for me. Yeah, yeah. Do you do that many times? Do you do that circulation? Um, depending on you know how how, how much time I have. <laughs> yeah, right. sure. yeah, but usually only once. Uh, but I want to try like. Twice or three times if I have time. Oh, yeah. how about you? Have you done that before? No, no. I, okay. I I sometimes get into the saunas. Yeah, but I never go into the the cold bath. Cold bath. No, oh. I don't have enough force. <laughs> <laughs> you should try it. Yeah. it may, Maybe you'll like it. Yeah, it, it takes a little yeah courage and a little, you know, understand that it'll feel uncomfortable at mm -hmm. first. But once you're in there and you mm -hmm. kind of sit for a little while, you kind of adjust. Yeah. And then you it's almost like meditation. Oh. You kind of focus in and go, okay, this is cold, but mm -hmm. I can get used to this. Mm -hmm. And and then when you come out, you feel really good, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh. So yeah. I recommend you use cold bath with your friend. Uh, like, I, yeah, yeah, you kind of you kind of cheer <laughs> yeah. each other out. Let's go together. Yeah, let's do it. Hey. If if we are long, you know, yeah. oh we shouldn't do this, yes. right? Yeah. I, yeah. If we tend to feel like that. Yeah, yeah. I have one warning with the cold bath though is once you're in the cold bath yeah. and you sit there it's okay you feel you 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 can overcome uh, the cold mm -hmm. but then someone else comes into the cold bath <laughs> and they kind of climb into the cold bath and yeah. what happens is the water starts uh, and when that hits the body again <laughs> you know what i'm talking about yeah, 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 exactly. it's suddenly really cold again you look at the person yeah yeah exactly. what are you doing exactly. <laughs> It's like when you come, can you come in slowly? Oh. And they kind of kind of rush into the cold and then the waves come and hit you. Mm. So there's something about not only the temperature, but mm. the movement oh. of the water that mm -hmm. affects the coldness. Oh, I yeah. see. Oh. That's interesting. Yeah. So mm. if you <laughs> if you see someone coming <laughs> with full speed, maybe get up and get out <laughs> quickly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Anyways. Okay. Well, it was a fun topic yeah yeah, yeah exactly. um maybe we should wrap up for today mm -hmm. and we'll do some research yeah yeah let's do the, some research the advantage and disadvantage yeah the yeah and then maybe we can come back to this topic mm -hmm. again sometime because mm -hmm. now momoko's got me thinking um i think it's good for me but mm -hmm. maybe uh, <laughs> yeah i think i also agree with you yeah 
if you if you do that repeatedly like in one day i think it's <laughs> yeah. too much that's probably too yeah, much yeah but only once and you're 40 years old yeah around 40 years young, yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah i think good for you good for us okay yeah. all right well i hope so <laughs> <laughs> all right let's finish up for today yeah thanks a lot for listening thank you for listening thank you Thank you.